Hello everyone. We are doing occupant modeling workshops and in the last session we had completed workshop one. So we had come to the end of workshop one and now we are going to workshop two in the same document. This is on page 11. Now I have called it offsetting and renumbering IDs and this is basically an awareness session so that you come to know how to renumber IDs and offset IDs in, the, in a dummy file but this can be applied to any other model and this is frequently required. It is asking, I have asked you to go to Occupant Modeling Workshop's 50th Fast Dummy Directory. Now, let me show you. We were in Workshop 1 in the SLED Learning Aid Directory. So you have to back out and then back out once more and back out once more. And this is the top directory, I believe. And I'm asking you to go to this 50th fast dummy directory. And this is the directory. It will be asking, we will be editing this file, which is the dummy file. But before going into editing, let us do something else. Let us launch LS Prepost and read in this dummy file and see what it is. And oh, file import lsdyna keyword file and we are in that directory and we are reading this. And it is only displaying the K files here. Okay. And we come to this dummy. Now remember in workshop one we were talking about the dummy as released and I said it is sitting upright facing rearwards. The rearwards is starting here and this way and x direction is here in this axis system x direction is here y is pointing into the paper. Now let us do a couple of things just because we are here that we did yesterday. Let's rotate the dummy and do pelvic angle rotation. So in the dummy positioning panel it has already already taken us to the dummy positioning panel because there is a tree file. So let's click rotate and Z axis is the first one. Let's reorient the dummy pointing towards the front of the car. Right now it is pointing to, towards the back of the car. So let's give 180 degree rotation and the local axis, this axis, okay, is 66 in the original dummy. And it was 1,066,000 yesterday because in that model I had already offset the IDs. But in this as released dummy, the number was just 66. Okay, and here the axis system is parallel to the global axis system. The axis here at the pelvic angle is parallel. Now let's do 180 degree. You, you can do minus or plus, it doesn't matter, but it's about the local z axis, which is in this case parallel to the global z axis. But the rotation itself will take place about this origin and not the global origin which might be here. Okay, so it will just flip around and immediately look towards the front of the car. And this is the basic position. Okay, now let's do give the pelvic angle by switching the axis to Y. 
Now this Y is pointing out of the screen, whereas the global Y is still towards the screen, from I mean uh, away from the screen inside. So this is different. Now because it is pointing out of the lo the local y-axis is pointing out, we will give a negative rotation of 22.3 degrees, which is what it was if you remember. It doesn't matter here. So minus 22.3 degrees about the y, local y. And now it points this way. Okay. And another thing which I told you at that time is look at some of the limb axis. Okay, now let's do lower arm left, which is this lower arm left. See here in the as released condition, there are two axis systems both coincident with each other. That is why I'm showing it to you. Now, if you move the lower arm left, by say, say five degrees, okay, and let's try and do. I don't know whether plus will allow it or minus will allow it. Okay, um, plus is not allowing it because you cannot bend it in the other direction, okay, and so stop angle is reached, but in this direction it will go on rotating negative. You have to try a little to find out whether positive will take you or negative will take you because you may not understand immediately what the local axis is. But now these angles are growing and angle one, okay, the local axis is Z, okay, here, the rotational axis which is pointing out. That's why it automatically came to Z first. So that is the default here. Okay, but the angle is now minus 30 between the lower arm and the upper arm. This is how it goes. So because we are working on the as released dummy in this exercise, I decided to show you, I'm pressing auto center, I'm this, I decided to show you a couple of things which we discussed in workshop one. Now let's iconize this in case we need it later and just edit the same dummy file and show you what what is written in workshop 2 so we will open with i'm working uh, i think if i double click yes yes by default mine is notepad 2 so i'm here now now what does the workshop say? It says we are at number three. Go through this file and notice the general IDs. They are all in the range one to a few thousands. Okay, and I've given those examples in the direct uh, in the document itself. Define coordinate nodes one. Define curve IDs five. Okay, element solid. Uh, you know, one, 274. I've given you some examples, shell element, nodes, you know, one, two, and then towards the end, 21,787 and all that. Constraint, joint, revolute, same, IDs are low. But the interesting thing is, if you go down to the tree file, you'll find that the tree file IDs used are also in the same range. It has to be because these IDs in the tree file must match the actual IDs in the dummy. Otherwise, LS prepost cannot function. So when you either renumber or offset the IDs of the main deck, the tree file IDs also have to get renumbered and offset exactly in the same way. Otherwise, there will be no correspondence between the tree file IDs and the real IDs, and LS prepost cannot function. That is what I've written. The tree file IDs must match the IDs in the main de deck. Otherwise, the LSPP positioner will not work. This is very important to note. Okay. 
And I've written it later maybe that the LSPP developers have tried to perfect this system of renumbering and offsetting. I myself verified it very much and I, uh, wherever there were mistakes, I contacted them and tried to perfect it. Because if it is not perfect, the dummy models I'm distributing will not work. And because of this perfection, which we have achieved, and this, this was achieved more than seven or eight years ago. At that time, I was only one or two years in LSTC. I joined LSTC in February of 2007. And some of the initial work that I did, even before releasing the, any of the dummy models, I tried to perfect LSP post first. Because if the preprocessor does not work correctly, then there is no way you, you can use these dummy models. So the first step is to perfect the preprocessor, which can handle the dummies. Now, because of this, I request everyone that when you renumber IDs or offset IDs or position the dummy, especially the dummy, Please use only LSPP. I have said repeat, repeatedly that we have no objection to you using any other preprocessor of your choice. You can do it. But just for dummy positioning or things like offsetting IDs or renumbering IDs, please use LSP post because the dumb, dummy tree file has to be changed also. And some other pre or post processor might not be able to do everything, in which case it will not work anymore. So just for positioning and these few operations, please use only LS pre-post. And I can tell you how you can continue to use some other preprocessor. But just for this, use LS pre-post and then save the file and then go back to your preprocessor. There is no problem. Go do that. Okay, it is very easy to do it. But for a few operations, just come to LS pre-post, do it there, and then take it back to your other preprocessor. Now let us go to the real file and also check this. Okay. Uh, you can see all the IDs here, part IDs, node IDs, uh, element IDs, uh, and then uh, you can go right down to the tree file, okay, and see the IDs themselves. This is what is there in the document. Now, uh, let's go back to the document, and it says, now open the documentation file of the dummy. This is the documentation file that is distributed with the dummy itself, and it is called this. And uh, if I no, think right, it is here, and this is dummy documentation, this one. It is asking you to open this. So let's open it, and I've already opened it, and it should be like this. LSTC Hybrid 3 50th fast dummy. Okay, positioning and post-processing. Now, our document is saying, Go to page 14 of this file. So let's go to page 14 here in this dummy document and number 14 and it says post processing. Okay, and after you have run a job, you should be able to plot the head acceleration, chest acceleration, pelvis acceleration, you know, um, and th those will all be in local. I've written pelvis acceleration in local coordinate system number 73. If you plot co local coordinate system number 73, you can find out where it is, how the, how the accelerometer in the dummy is positioned and how it looks initially. Okay, chest acceler acceleration, it is about this coordinate system, 68. Okay, but you can also plot head, chest, and pelvis accelerations in global coordinate systems. Most occupant engineers do not plot 
occupant injury in global coordinate system. They do not. Okay, but in some spe special applications, you might want to see how the global accelerations are in the global axis system. Okay, so uh, I've said how to do that. I've given special node numbers and you can plot these and you will get the head, chest and pel pelvis accelerations respectively. So this is the list we are going to go through now uh, a little bit just to see how to what happens and and uh, study them a little sorry everyone i just realized i had made a mistake in the last 2 minutes uh, i said we will be trying to plot dummy injury channels and all that but that is not what our discussion is we will be plotting dummy injury channels in workshop four but here we are trying to do offsetting of ids uh, or renumbering of ids that is our subject i kind of went ahead of the game a little bit and um, misspoke so we are back to offsetting ids we showed you those channel ids here just to just as an example to make you realize that these IDs that I've given in the in the post-processing part of the document, these IDs, these IDs have to match the real IDs and the T file IDs uh, for positioning purposes. And also, if you completely renumber them, then you cannot refer to the document. We might be talking about that a little bit later so we have to be careful because you have to refer to the document to plot chest acceleration and pelvis acceleration so you will be looking for these node numbers and if you completely renumber them then there is a problem that you cannot find them when you are post-processing okay and that is what we we are essentially discussing here I have said in point 6, we are on page 12, point 6. I have said it is not always possible to keep these original IDs intact because they will conflict with the IDs of the vehicle or belt models. So you cannot always hold on to the IDs I put into my release dummy models. You cannot keep them. So you have to change them. So I suggest that you do offsetting and offsetting means to shift all the IDs by a fixed amount like 1 million. Thus 1787 will become 1,000,000 1787. So this 1787 is still recognizable. But if you completely renumber this 1787 will not be recognizable anymore. And therefore you cannot use it. That's why I've said, should we renumber or should we offset the IDs? For the LSTC dummy models, we always recommend that we offset the IDs because there is a, a huge advantage to just offsetting and not renumbering. Now, let us launch LSP post again and read in the same dummy file. That is a part of the exercise. I showed you how to uh, change uh, the hip angle, the first 180 degree about Z, and uh, then 22.3 degrees pelvic angle, uh, just as an exercise. But I've closed that SPP session and I've relaunched. Okay, and I'm showing you how to do the offsetting of these IDs first. I have already read in that as release dummy into LSP post in a separate session. We will be continuing from here just to show you offsetting of IDs and renumbering. Now uh, it goes into occupant uh, dummy positioning so we have to get out of it first and then we say done get out. Okay now we go to model model here and then we go to this renum panel on the second column. Renum. 
and now we are here okay now by default it comes up as V number but we will take it to offset okay and then in offset you can see all these things are highlighted that means I want all of these to be offset if I choose one out it might not do it but it comes as all selected everything that is there all the keywords uh, or everything is of, of importance are selected already and here you get count which is the number of such things node there are 7404 nodes in the model okay shell elements 1624 solid elements 2644 so this is a good panel to find out how many of each item items are there now this start ID is the offset ID okay it is zero now the nodes themselves are numbered from 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 0, 6. But there might be gaps in between. That means they are not continuous. The number, total number of nodes is 7404. But the IDs go from 1 to 23306. And same for element beams, shells, whatever. Okay. So you, you know from where it starts each item starts and what the end ID is but we are trying to offset okay and it comes this is the column we'll be looking for okay right now it is zero but in this offset column here okay things are popping up because whenever you take your mouse somewhere it gives you a message okay renumber start ID offset value so these are sometimes disturbing but it always gives you a message okay so that is why these things are coming up but we are in this one and we want to offset by 1 million so six zeros one and six zeros now we will have to set I, I wonder whether the there's the box is a little bigger but uh, no that is this is the box okay and we set this press this set and now instead of zero all these are one million okay so one will become one million one and two three three zero six will become one million two thousand twenty three thousand three hundred and six it will just add this number one million to all these IDs and it will do it for everything okay it still hasn't done it now we have to by setting this pressing the set button we have put this number in this column now we say offset and see what happens when it's offset this number becomes zero again but now one million one and one million twenty three thousand three hundred six and it has just added that one million to all the IDs okay all the IDs and now we can the offsetting is done there is nothing else like accept or anything here I don't see it we did it by pressing this offset button and that is enough so we can close okay and we'll go to the next part of this uh, workshop continue from here onwards now let us check what LSPP has done with this offsetting so to do that we will go from model to element tools see element tools has come up as soon as I bring my mouse on top okay now just to tell you the spelling is E-L-E-T-O-L here now as soon as we see this shortened from T-O-L in English it usually means tolerance tolerance okay but here it does not mean tolerance here it means tools there should be an extra O in here to make it clear tool okay 
So I had requested the LSP post to uh, put in another O here so that people do not understand. Uh, uh, so that people do understand that it is not element tools, but uh, it is, sorry, I, I'm mixing up myself, sorry. Uh, so that people understand that this is element tools and not element tolerance. Okay, now here in this column, uh, I have, I'm going to ident, right here, ident, so identification. So let's press ident. And immediately two other small pop-up boxes come up. This is a tall box and this is another box. Now in the tall box we find out what we want to identify and it is node by default. We can switch it to element which we will do. Now in the small box we it tells asks you how you want to identify okay and it can be pick or area or poly uh, polygon uh, which you can draw, um, uh, draw around something okay so let us pick by node and then press here and this this is just by chance okay and we can do a few more and we'll see that all of them are now 1 million and something now if we do element let's do element okay and this is still pick so it will give you the solid element H, uh, indicated by H, uh, and 1,768,000. Now if you do pick area, uh, from pick to area, then all the elements, this box comes up, left mouse button, so small zoom, okay? And all the elements have been, in this region, have been numbered, so you cannot see anything. Uh, so for identification, the pick is usually the best. If you do a lot, you cannot see. So I can clear all the identifications of nodes here by pressing clear node and clear element. Everything will go away. So uh, we can see that LSP post has changed all the IDs and um, uh, offset all the IDs that were there in the original. Now this is the dummy model and now let us go out from the dummy model in LSP post and go to the deck where everything is and uh, we this uh, we have not saved the offsetting ourselves but I did it separately myself and I have given you that deck and this is the deck 1 million offset. 1 million means it, I've offset it by 1 million. If you, you can also save it yourself after that 1 million. But since I've already done it, let's open that file. And let us go right down to the tree file. You can see everything is offset by 1 million now. Okay. Now let's go to the tree file and see. All the tree file IDs have been also offset. This is what I am showing you here, that if you save that file, your T file would already have been changed. Now this one and this one do not, are not IDs. So they were not offset. They mean something else in the T file. This two means something else. So that is not offset. But all the IDs were offset. And that is wha what I am showing you here. And uh, you, uh, as you can see, that unless these are all done correctly, if you read in the dummy file, that saved file, or try to work with it, you cannot reposition the dummy in LSP post. Dyna might not care anything for the tree file. Okay, if you if you just submit the job, Dyna might still run because all these offsetted IDs are right. But you cannot use that in LSP post to reposition the dummy in the future. And that is what I, I just showed you. What I just showed you is also written in the document. Uh, check the tree file and you can see all the IDs are offset. And therefore, uh, I've said that LSPP modifies everything correctly. And so we uh, are warning that all this has to be correct. And 
not to use other preprocessors just to be sure. Now there are very good preprocessors which can also may be able to do the tree file, but they can only do it if they understand our tree file perfectly. Those preprocessor developers have to understand our tree file and that I'm not sure of. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. So for this purpose, we would ask you to ask uh, use LSP post. Now let's go to negative offsets, number nine. Okay, and this is also very important, negative offsetting, because your some of your dummy files must, might have uh, IDs 50 million. Okay, some of the refined mesh dummies that I have distributed to the world have IDs over 50 million and those IDs I did not set. Those IDs were set by people who developed that dummy initially and they gave it to me and after that I went on working with them and tried to perfect many of the things inside before I released it to the world. So they did the initial work and they gave it to me and I continued from there. But they had already given the IDs from 50 million. There was nothing I could do about that. But soon people came and said, the IDs are too high. And we cannot work with such high IDs because it, it creates problems. And also, supposing you want to use five or six such dummies in the same vehicle model. There are a lot of people who are trying to use a lot of these dummies in the same vehicle model. So if you offset the IDs now, say the next one, next dummy will have 60 million, the next dummy 70 million, 80 million, 90 million, and now you're over 100 million. Okay, so it becomes difficult with such, when you start with such a high idea of 50 million. So they wanted us to reduce the IDs. So how can you reduce the IDs? That is why I worked with LSP Post developers to give you the opportunity to have negative offsets. That is now bring down. So let us go back to the same LSP Post. Okay, if you are in ident, you know that you are 1 million already. Okay, okay, clear note. Now let's go back to model, go back to renumber, go back to offset. Okay, and in this offset, now let's press minus 1 million. Okay, minus 1 million and set it. Okay, now all this should the 1 million should dip, disappear here and we should go, get back our original. So we are pressing offset now and now we are back to what it was in the release model. And if you go and check in the tree file, you will find that that has happened there also. So we can no, not only offset upwards, but offset downwards as well. But you can soon realize that Offsetting downwards is dangerous, okay, because it can give you zero IDs or negative IDs, okay. Supposing we started here and start to offset by just one, negative one. If we did that, this ID would become zero. And zero IDs for node numbers is not permissible. Therefore, I had to ask LSP Post developers to put a check that if someone wants to do, to do negative offsetting of IDs, then check very carefully from the top to the bottom and see to it that not even one ID of even one item becomes zero ID or negative ID. Now, if LSP Post detects that, then LSP Post should abandon the whole process. That is what I told them. Even if one is wrong, one ID is wrong, 
if it is zero or negative, else peoples should not do anything to the whole deck. It should not do partially. Only the ones which are possible it does and, and the wrong ones it doesn't do. Then you are in big trouble because you do not know what Alice Prepost has done. Some of them have been offset, negative, and others are not even offset because Alice Prepost could not do it. I said, no, either you do the whole thing if it is possible or you don't do anything. So let's put a negative ID it's starting from one and let's see what LSP post does. Okay. Uh, I had asked them to do it and they did it, but sometimes things get broken. So I don't know whether this version of 21 April, 2017, which I just downloaded, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, whether that works or not. So let's set. And yes, it is working. Minus 10 would make these negative, okay? And so it says one or more IDs are becoming zero or negative. Process about it. And it has given you the entities. Node, okay? Some of these things it has given, saying that these are all becoming negative or zero or whatever. But it will not do it. So even when, while you're trying to set, a negative offset if it is conflicting then it will not work and it is very important to note with that we'll come to the last part which is renumbering and that is also very important and uh, very interesting okay because sometimes you might have to renumber so what will you do so that is what we will be trying to show you So let us try to renumber the same dummy. We are back to original because we had negative, uh, we had first offset by 1 million and then we did negative 1 million, so we are back to the original. So let us do renumber here. Okay, and you can say start ID 1, it comes up by default. Okay, and this is already set every start ID will be from one. But because renumbering completely changes things and you cannot recognize anything anymore and you cannot refer to the document, dummy document, when you try to uh, plot injury channels, what, do you, what will you do? You cannot use that document anymore. So we have put something called save renumbering log file. Okay. And this is not on by default, but you have to do that. And you can give a file name, uh, uh, a name here. And I will show you that. I have already given, given you that in a name called log file and we will look into this log file it is it should be there in your package already but let us do this and save another one called say uh, <coughs> renumbered log file another one i'm generating okay i've already given you mine but I'm doing another one. Okay, now let's say renumber. Okay, renumber. Now you can see what has happened. The count is 7404, and all the nodes are from 1 to 7404. There is no space in between, there are no gaps. LSP post has completely collapsed all those gaps and taken them away. And so the count here will should match the maximum. Okay. Now element shell 1624, it started with four because I think it ran into some problems. Okay. And I think it ran into some conflicts with other element IDs. And that is why it could not do it. I think that is the reason. 
okay that 4 is the minimum it could choose in this case it could not go start from 1 for solid elements it had to start from 1628 for some reason and for element discrete it had to start from here now let us guess what is happening look at element beam it started from 1 there are 3 of them and this is 3 that is why in element shell it had to start from 4 what I have heard is this that LS Dyna can have the same ID numerical ID for beam and shell and solid you can have the first idea is one in beam, one in shell, one in solid. You can do it that way. But in LS prepost, they could not handle that kind of ID. LS Dyna can handle, but LS prepost cannot handle. So for element, as soon as it starts with element, you cannot have conflicting IDs. Okay, Dyna can handle, but LS prepost can't. So because it gave there were three elements before in element beam okay they had to start element shell with four because element shell ended with 1627 element solid started from 1628 element solid ended at 4271 element discrete started at 4272 this is what is going on okay in renumbering so it is renumbered and of course we can click identify and see check one or two for this it is not necessary so let us close it you could have saved it of course but let us look at the id that we just saved okay i think i saved only this one just now yes i'm doing it on first may 2017 and this is the file that is uh, okay, I also gave you this, I gave you this, okay, so many log files, but let us open the one which we just saved and see. And note to pad 2, and here it is. The log file gave you the old IDs and the new IDs. And this is for defined coordinates. That is the first thing it listed. Now, let's control find another string like star, okay find next okay define curve here old ID new ID in this case it didn't have to do much I, I think but anyway towards the end 59 became 40 60 became 41 okay and element solids one new ID 1628 274 1629 uh, it actually made it higher Diana could handle those IDs, but somehow LSP post while renumbering, it found uh, that it cannot do it, so it renumbered that way. Okay, and all these old IDs and new IDs are there. Now, let me show you something important about the these renumbered log files. We are at the top of the file and we want to search for node number 1787, 1787 and we are looking for node number 1787. Now find next, okay, and this this is on this side but we need the node number that was before in the old part and so it has to be on the left side so this is not what we are looking for and then we come to 1787 on the left side and it is at line number 1245 just remember this but where is this block does it block belong to an uh, element or does it belong to a node we do not know it it just shows a number so at this point rem remembering this line number 1245 we search for the string star and find previous previous just to find out which block we are in so find previous 
and we find that it is we are in the block element solid but this is not the block we want we want the nodal block and ID 1787 so we go back to 1787 uh, let's copy the string control C copy and find next and this is not the one and this is 1245 it has brought us back to the next one but this is not the one because it is in element solid and find next and now at line number 5191 we have found 1787 again but what is it star find previous and we find star node so this is the node number we want and control V find next and now we know that node number 1787 has become 736 now if you look in the diner uh, in the in the user manual for the dummy 1787 is the node number for chest acceleration and so if if we have renumbered the dummy completely then we will have to plot 736 now instead of 1787 if the manual says 1780, 1787 then we have to plot node number 736 and this is very important because don't plot the wrong thing okay from the from the from the wrong block you have to go back and check the block by doing find previous every time you find the ID you are looking for because right in the middle you will not know so this is old ID and new ID and this is how to find what the numbers have become in any case so that brings us to the end of workshop 2 we have discussed offsetting ID offsetting and also renumbering and uh, and the log file which is important for the renumbering case and also how to find a number we are looking for and what it has become now by searching in the correct block now we will move over to workshop 3 and workshop 4